Welcome, everybody, back to Multiplex Movie Melee. I'm your host, Pace, the Cinemaster Johnson, and we have an exciting match in our singles division. Adelaide the Datriarch Spence going up against Joe with a hot fuzz fairly. Last time we saw Spence, it was before the uh, singles tournament. Uh, they had an unfortunate loss to Scott Harvey, and last time we saw Joe, uh, he unfortunately had a, uh, another unfortunate loss to Jeremy Potters. Uh, both these players coming off losses, they probably want to get the win back to get that momentum going forward into uh, the later season. On the next with me is Dylan Vicious Van Thine. Dylan, what's cracking, homie? Uh, you know, not much. Uh, my hair is a fucking mess, but I'm really excited for this match. Uh, should be a good one. Yeah, you said it. I'm sure they're both very hungry to get the win here today. I mean, uh, Adelaide had a very strong season last year where they made it all the way to a title shot. Uh, Joe hasn't had quite the comeback in singles that he I think he wanted this uh, season. But, I mean, he's shown in the past to be a really solid competitor. He's pushed some very uh, strong competitors very far in the game. Like, I think Cameron Redshaw, I think he was, like, one question away from beating. So, you know, he's got a lot of potential uh, as a player. So, you know, I'm excited to see how this one goes. I think it should be a good one. This is going to be a very exciting match. Let's bring players in for interviews, starting with our first opponent tonight, Joe. Uh, everyone knows how much you are a monster in fandom. Uh, but I think it uh, goes unsaid that uh, you're also a pretty – Pretty quiet threat here in Melee. How are you feeling uh, coming in tonight? I'm feeling okay. Um, yeah, Melee is, singles has been the one thing I don't think I've excelled at this year. I had, I think I've had a good run in Fan Zone. I had a good run with Tequila Mockingbird. And two great runs fandom with singles and teams. It's just, yeah, I think it's 2-0 this year for, for Melee against Rue and Potters. So, and you put me against Spence, which, you know, they're, they're a really good, like you said, title shot. Played for a title shot. Um, yeah, they're a really good player. And I think one of the players where are, the strengths are the complete opposite of each other. Um, so one bad spin can, for either of us, could spell doom. Yeah, uh, sometimes when it comes to melee, you are at the mercy of the wheel. Uh, I do apologize. You did say Tequila Mockingbird, and I got an irksome feeling in my stomach. But uh, we're going to move right past that as we bring in your opponent that's tonight. That's one of the better names I've had. No, 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 that's fair. I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no issue with the name. More so the team. Uh, Adelaide Spence, you are playing Joe Fairley tonight. <laughs> You're playing Joe Fairley tonight. How are you feeling? <laughs> you took my whole my whole conversation piece. Because I think us as, like, Melee writers and, like, showrunners, we don't play favorites. I play least favorites. Seeing Tequila Mockingbird win pisses me the fuck off. Um, and you know what? I'm here to set things straight. There is only one person on that team that I can't beat, and it's Alex. If it's also Joe, I'm leaving this building anyways. You just won't know where to find me for probably a few years. Round I, for one, have no issue with Tequila Mockingbird. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Uh, round one is going to work like this. Competitors will get eight questions from eight general movie categories, each worth one point apiece. They will have 15 seconds to write their answers on the board, after which I will say heads down, in which case they will reveal their answers one at a time. If uh, you answer all eight questions correctly, you will receive eight bonus questions asked to you and only to you uh, throughout the duration of the match. Competitors get three, one challenge. Competitors, any questions before we head into the match? This is for the better fandom team, La Roja Fi. Let's do this. Good luck, Spence. <laughs> Your first question will be coming to you in the category of the 1980s. Who plays Al Capone in The Untouchables? You remember when he had a rap battle against Blackbeard? Oh, I was literally thinking about quoting that. Slapping mm -hmm. bitch ass teachers back since I was 14. You ain't a tough guy. My kids dress up like you for Halloween. I can go that, but I will. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> Three, two, one. Al Dente. Spence will go to you. He fell off a boat, Robert De Niro. And we will go to Joe. It's funny because at the bottom it also says goat, Robert De Niro. <laughs> Very true, Robert De Niro. And I would agree with Joe, the acting goat. So your next question will come in the category of sci-fi slash fantasy. What 90s sci-fi film features aliens called Mondo Shawins? Now, Dylan, I'm often known for rapping a lot in these matches. Do you want to speak right. a couple of hours? No, I'm good. But also, did you notice that Spence's uh, camera has now suddenly fixed itself? 
Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh. <laughs> now Spence is looking very beautiful. I can. See we tried. Both. We tried everything before this started, and oh, now it's very beautiful. Five. That's right. Slide these DMs. <laughs> two, one. Pants down. Joe will go to you. I'm so happy. The fifth element. And Spence. Ten. What? Oh. Fuck. We'll keep it up. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's fucking inside wrong. No, keep it up. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, the fifth element is correct. I was wrong. <laughs> well, I didn't even hear what you said. You just started oh, breaking man. up entirely. <laughs> All right. Uh, as we have your next question in the category of classics. In Giant, what southern U.S. state is Rock Hudson's character Dick from? I'm I was putting all the bad shit in one question, Joe. Ask about European countries as well in this game, Joe. I would like to point that out. <laughs> Five. Yo. Uh, four, oh, shit. I'm out of time. Three. <laughs> two, one. Down. That's, we'll go to you. I've written this question before and I forget. Is it Texas? And we'll go to Joe. Oklahoma. You didn't forget because Texas is correct. Okay. Tie game. Your next question will come in the category of directors. What international film was directed by Park Chan Wook and its remake and its American remake directed by Spike Lee? Ooh. This is a prickly question. Wanna know why? Yeah. Why is that? Because there's a spike, so it's a little Pretty. Ah. So nice. Good, 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 good job. Five. I quit. Four. <laughs> three. Two. One. Pens down. Joe will go to you. Oh, boy. And we will go to Spence. Shout out to the Oscars Museum. Old boy. Uh, old boy is correct. Let's get into your fifth question in the category of the 2000s. What 2000s family film takes place on a snowflake? I should have never what? commented on their video. <laughs> what? Uh, what did you say, Dylan? I'm so sorry. I, I should have. I should have never com commented on their video because now it's back to normal. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair. Yeah. I was gonna say the, the Spence is very hardcore breaking up now. We jinxed it, Dylan. Gosh dang! I apologize. Five, four. Three, two, one, pens down. Spence will go to you. I put the Santa Claus too. I have zero idea. We will go to Joe. How the Grinch Stole Christmas. How the Grinch Stole Christmas is correct. Did you say takes place on a snowflake? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. What? <laughs> takes place on a snowflake. The whole world, the whole Whoville is in a snow is inside a snowflake. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> So your next question will come in the category of Oscars. Name two of the three films Viggo Mortensen received a Best Actor nomination for. We'll give competitors a little bit of extra time for this one. Sure. Yeah. How you doing? Doing okay. Doing okay. Uh, took the day off from work today. Wasn't feeling that great. Feeling a little better now. But I yeah. Sleep. So, yeah. Nice. Dick Johnson is dead. Good film. Yes, very good. Very. Good, that make yeah. you feel better? Uh, kind of like it made me show that like the world is beautiful, but also it was like ah, now I'm sad. Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Pets down. Joe will go to you. Now I'm confusing the title of the second one, but Eastern Promises and Into the Wild. And we'll go to Spence. Green Book and Captain Fantastic. Green Book, Captain Fantastic, and Eastern Promises were the acceptable answers. Captain Fantastic is what I was thinking of. That is what I was thinking of. So Spence will be getting that point. As we head into your pen ultimate question in the category of music, in This Is Spinal Tap, what is the name of the titular band's new album they're promoting on their United States concert tour? Wonderful. Yeah, so I've so I've heard. Back and yeah. forth we go. This has been an exciting round one. I know, I know. Good Lead. shit. Going 
going back and forth, games yeah. tied. Exciting, exciting stuff. The edge of my seat. This is crazy. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, Spence will go to you. The best one. And we'll go to Joe. Another drama? <laughs> Both incorrect. We were looking for smell the glove. Smell yeah. the glove. All right, so then your final question of round number one will come in the category of romance. Martin Sheen and Sissy Spacek appear in what 1973 romantic drama? Do you ever think, uh, do you ever think whenever Sissy Spacek's parents were mad at her, they would say, stop being such a sissy, sissy? Sure. I'm sorry. I, I don't have a lot of banter it's, skills today. It, it happens. Sometimes that's where the humor comes in. Sometimes you're just having an off day, you know? Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Joe, we'll go to you. Uh, I went with the fake romance movie from Twilight New Moon. Love spelled backwards is love. <laughs> <laughs> I put bad landing at 78. I have no clue. Well, Badlands is correct. So what wait, the no. fuck? <laughs> we taking the lead. Five to four. Is that, is that Dylan? Five to four. Yep. All right, but anything can happen as we move to round number two. Also, we have a wheel round. The penners will get uh, a spin at the wheel, in which case they will receive five questions from whatever category they land on, each worth two points apiece. Check down to multiple choices. He values that question down to one point. If you don't like to spin for your first time, you are allowed to respin, but you must keep whatever you land on on that second spin. But be on the lookout because stealing is available in this round. The categories that your competitors can pick tonight are. Uh, Vincent Minnelli musicals, which is Spence's strength, fandom Star Trek, which is Joe's strength, as well as the general categories of crime, horror, musicals, comic book, movie, comic book movies, animated, and 1980s. Spence, you are in the lead. Would you like to spin first or defer? I'll defer. Okay, then Joe, this will be your first spin. Can I have the prime spin? Fuck you. Well, then. Did land on spinner's choice. So, what would you like for your? Uh, it was primed, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I saw. I, um, I'll take what it was primed onto. Fandom Star Trek, please. Okay. Uh, Dylan, do you like Star Trek? Yeah, I can read the questions though. That's fine. <laughs> read them up. All right. So, your first question in the category of fandom Star Trek: The Beastie Boys song "Sabotage" appears in both Star Trek 2009 and what other Star Trek film? Beyond. That is correct for two points. Your next question. In First Contact, Picard, Worf, and what other crew member were the ones to authorize the destruction of the Enterprise? Dr. Crusher. That is correct for two points. Your third question. How does Spock's mother, Amanda, die in 2009's Star Trek? Uh, she falls to her death in a when the ground caves way beneath her feet. That is correct for two points. We just had falls to her death, but yeah, yeah, yeah the so rocks could have crushed her later on. You know. <laughs> <laughs> now your penultimate question in this category: Who plays Pavel Chekhov in the original six Star Trek movies? This is what happens when you come after a 12-hour shift. Five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. Okay. Right, that is your first repeat. Your question again. Who plays Pavel Chekhov in the original six Star Trek movies? God damn it, multiple choice, please. Your options are A, James Doohan, B, DeForest Kelly, C, Walter Koenig, or D, Stephen Collins. Walter Koenig. <laughs> that is correct for the one point. I love the exasperated eye roll. <laughs> I had every single other cast member's name. Every single one. I did love you going, no, 
No. There we go. <laughs> yeah. All right. So your final question in this category. In the search for Spock, what is the name of the ship Starfleet officer J.T. Esteban commands in the Star Trek? USS Grissom. <laughs> that is correct for two points. I was confused. It said in the search for Spock and then it said in the Star Trek movies. I was like, what? <laughs> well, after that joke, it's a clue those questions, getting nine points, getting a score up to 13. Spence's score remaining at five. Is that what you have, Dylan? That is what I have, yes. All right, so we will be bringing the wheel back in for Spence's first spin. Hold up. Let me bring it back. There it is. Joe, cool. stop, like, sucking the wheel. I don't know what you're doing. But hey, I spun opponent's choice last time. When I play part of the spun opponent's choice. Well, what the fuck? That, that, this is what happens when you bad talk the wheel, because now you get a point. shit on me out here. <laughs> Joe, what would you like to give Spence for their uh, for round two? Mm. Tracks off the wheel. Where can I get steals? You watched Minnelli. Horror. Okay. Uh... Spence, I will be giving you your questions in the category of horror. Are you ready? Sure. Okay. Your first question. What is the profession of Angela in the 2007 film Wreck? Multiple choice. All right, your multiple choice options. Is it A, EMT, B, police officer, C, firefighter, or D, reporter? Reporter. That is correct. Hold, point. Hold it right after the multiple choice. <laughs> Your second question. In Happy Death Day, what type of food does Lori poison and give to tree? Cupcake. That is correct for two points. Your third question. Who directed the 2022 film Pearl? Ty West. That is correct for two points. This may have been a mistake. <laughs> Your penultimate question in the category of horror. Who stars as the Shakespearean actor Edward Lionheart out for revenge against his critics in the 1970s film Theater of Blood? Fuck yeah, dude. That's a great question. Um, oh, God. Is it just him? Do I... Five. Repeat four. the question. Right, that is your first repeat. Who stars as the Shakespearean actor Edward Lionheart out for revenge against his critics in the 1970s film Theater of Blood? Multiple choice. All right, your multiple choice options is it A, John Carradine, B, Christopher Lee, C, Vincent Price, or D, Orson Welles? I was thinking this before, but I, wanted, I didn't want to shoot for two in case I was a fucking idiot. Is it Vincent Price? That is correct for one. Damn it! Fuck! It's a great oh. movie, by the way. It You're sounds right. awesome! <laughs> and your final question in the category of horror. What John Carpenter film takes place in the fictional California town of Midwich? It's a shot for two. Fuck. Multiple choice. Are right, your multiple choice options? Is it A, the fog? B, Village of the Damned, C, Christine, or D, Prince of Darkness? Can you, can you repeat the options? Absolutely. That is your first repeat of the options. Is it A, The Fog, B, Village of the Damned, C, Christine, or D, Prince of Darkness? A. That is incorrect, Joe. A chance for a one-point steal. Is it A, The Fog, B, Village of the Damned, C, Christine, or D, Prince of Darkness? Christine. That is also incorrect. We were looking for B of the Dam. Yeah, that was the Midwest. All right. So after that, uh, Dylan, I have Spence getting their score up to eleven. Joe's score remaining at thirteen. Is that what you have? That is what I have. Yep. All right. But anything can happen as we move into, into round number three, also known as the Pick Your Poison round, where the match competitors went back and forth drafting categories that would be appearing in this round, and now they will go back and forth once again, choosing which categories they will be answering from. The categories that your competitors can choose from are. Fandom, musicals, comic book movies, classics, horror, animation, sci-fi fantasy, and recent releases. Your competitors will choose their categories right now.
right, your competitors have chosen their categories. Uh, Spence, you are behind, so you will be answering first. What would you like for your one player? Comic book movies. Okay. Yep. So your first question in the category, or sorry, your one pointer in the category of comic book movies. Who plays Rita Vertasky in Edge of Tomorrow? Emily Blunt. That is correct for one point. I just have my first question in it, just the first and only. <laughs> All right, so Spence, you are still behind. What would you like for your two pointer? Classics, please. So your two point question in the category of classics. Who plays Melanie Daniels in The Birds? Five, four, three, two. I'm not going to pull it. It's unfortunately incorrect. We were looking for Tippy Hedren. That's right. I had the I at the end. I couldn't pull the rest of the name. Yeah. So we are going to be sticking with Spence. What would you like for your three? Animation, please. All right. Your three-point question in the category of animation. In what 2010s animated film will you find a fictional TV show called Evil Brat? Okay, I'm, I need to hit a four. Um, what the fuck would Evil Brat be from? What is fictional TV shows? Um, I have two repeats, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. Five, four. Repeat the question. That is your second repeat. Your question again. In what 2010s animated film will you find a fictional TV show called Evil Brat? I don't... It's probably a supporting element. Probably not with the lead character. I don't even know what to have. Negative match. Five. I'll go with Paranorman. That's unfortunately incorrect. We are looking for Despicable Me 3. Oh, I haven't seen it. Totally fine. Fuck that. Paranorman as well. That was what I was guessing anyway. All right, so here's the situation we are in. Spence must hit their four-pointer in the category of musicals in order to stay in the game. If they hit it, Joe is forced to answer some questions. If they miss it, Spence does. Uh, Joe does win the game. So your question in the category of musicals. What specific type of item is Pirelli selling when he, we first meet him in Sweeney Todd? You want what the item is, not what he's saying it is. Yes. Piss. And your winner, Joe Fairley. The item we were looking for was hair tonic. I'm going to challenge, because if you're asking what it is, they say explicitly in the song that he is selling his piss. We'll be right back. Is that a challenge? Back to the challenge. Spence is 100% right. It is piss uh, being disguised as hair tonic, so Spence is correct for four points. Which means we are going to be sending the back to Joe. Joe, you got to answer some questions. What would you like for your one player? What's the score? Please. Oh, this is 13 to 16. Uh, one pointer, let's go recent releases. All right, your one pointer in the category of recent releases. Which 2024 film follows two lesbians who are taking a road trip to Florida, unknowingly getting involved with a political conspiracy? Ooh, this is one I haven't seen, so I'll take a shot at Love Lies Bleeding. That is unfortunately incorrect. Good guess, though. We were looking for Drive Away Dolls. The uh, other lesbian movie. <laughs> this, is what this is what happens when things don't get released. I'm oh, sorry. Damn. Challenge. I mean, it got, it, got, it got released, but not in my local. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so that does mean we are going to be sticking with you. What would you like for your two-pointer? Horror, please. Your two-pointer in the category of horror. Who plays Dewey's sister Tatum in 1996's Scream? Oh, it's been a while. Sister. Oh, crap. 
five, four. Why waste three, a repeat? I'm two, not going to hit it. One. That is unfortunately incorrect. We're looking for Rose McGowan. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. So we are going to be sticking with you for your three pointer. What would you like for your three pointer? Sci fi fantasy. You're a three pointer in the category of sci fi fantasy. In Dungeons and Dragons, Honor Among Thieves, what type of location do Edgen, Holga, Simon, and Derek go to search for leads for an object called the Helm of Disjunction? Yeah, we'll shoot for it because we'll save the repeats in case they need it. A wow. dragon's cave. That is completely incorrect. We were looking for a cemetery. Okay. Oh, that. Yeah. Okay. So that does mean it does all come down to this. Joe must hit his four-pointer in the category of fandom. If he hits it, Joe wins the game. If he misses, Spence wins the game. Oh, all right. Come on, Laura. Pointer in the category of fandom. At the end of Beverly Hills Pop, Taggart and Rosewood meet with Axel one final time to do what for him? Five, four, three. Repeat the question. All right, that is your second repeat. At the end of Beverly Hills Cop, Taggart and Rosewood meet with Axel one final time to do what for him? Ensure he leaves Beverly Hills. And your winner adelaide the matriarch spence the answer we had was pay his hotel bill pay his hotel bill was what we have i'm gonna throw up challenge on that okay we'll be right I'm back after the challenge is that a challenge all right back from the challenge a uh, pretty worthy discussion from all of us uh we looked at the question we watched the scene and we decided to make the ruling of Joe is correct. Uh, Taggart and Rosewood were there to um, uh, to uh, make sure that Axel um, leaves Beverly Hills. They were also there to pay his hotel bill, but with the way the question is worded, it could very much be uh, be um, interpreted that uh, they were there to pay his hotel bill. So to uh, make sure he leaves Beverly Hills. So with that, and your winner, Joe, the hot fuzz fairly. We are going to be moving on to post-match interviews, starting with your unfortunate second place finisher tonight. Spence, uh yeah, yeah, had the lead out of round one, uh, did pretty decent in round number two. I just don't think round three just really came up in your favor. How are you feeling tonight? It's frustrating when and I, I will see whenever the website gets updated after this. I feel like I had the higher accuracy game today. I did, I played, I won't say the best of my ability, because I'm literally, I'm, I'm, I'm confident in Vincent Price, and I still shoot, because I've never, I haven't, like, looked at the movie well enough. I'm a smart decision away from going to sudden death where I probably win. That's shitty to sit with, because it's no longer, like, a oh, point here, point there. It is a single decision that fucks me, and I should have trusted myself. And I could be wrong. I think my year's over. I think that I have continuously had the worst luck imaginable, and I literally can't win. And, like, obviously, good enough players can pass that. But twice against Joe this year, it's been the spinners and opponent's choice. Like, what am I going to do? Absolutely, but uh, that does bring in that, uh, like you said, I believe that does bring an end to your melee single yeah. this year. When you come back next year, who would you like to play? I don't need to play for a title again. Like, I truthfully don't give a shit about getting to that level again. I just want to be 500. I had to beat fucking David Nishimoto to get above it. 
that's a pain in the ass. Let me play some play some Glupshido players, people who are like, oh yeah, I guess they exist. Um, and get me to 500 and then I'll then I can I will start taking punches. I just I'm sick of being a negative player. I totally get that mentality, but yeah, like you said, don't forget, you were a player who beat David Nishimoto. You were capable of great things in this league. I'm sure when you come back, uh, luck will hopefully be on your side. But uh, we are going to say goodbye to Spence tonight. We are going to say uh, hello to our winner tonight. Joe, uh, you had a clean sweep in your round two uh, strength category. Um, that's never an easy thing to do, even with it being your strength, because they can be tougher questions. Uh, looks like uh, round three, you, you may have been on the ropes a little bit in round three, but you pulled out that four-pointer. How are you feeling tonight? It's kind of bittersweet because one, I think Spence um, not only is a great player, he's a great person. I, I get on with him really well, and I don't like winning that way. Um, but I was also winless this year. Um, and I was, and I think I was. This is, puts me at four and four overall in melee, and then two and one for the year. Um, so I kind of needed the win a little bit. Um, I know Spence did too. Um, yeah, Spence. I think navigated the opponent's choice really well. I really wasn't sure what to do because they're good at a lot and that wheel wasn't full of weaknesses. Um, I just tried to go saying I thought I could steal it and had they missed, I think I would have done. <laughs> but they only missed the one that I didn't know. And then round three came along and it just happened to be those ones that I hadn't seen. I hadn't seen Driveway Dolls and hadn't seen, uh, haven't watched Scream for a very long time and more of a deep, deeper cards member for that one. And then, yeah, on amongst these only seen once and i said it was a three point out but you've got to play the numbers and thankfully fandom usually works in my favor i had to work a little bit harder for this one but yeah nice to get a win but bittersweet in how it came about absolutely uh but this does mean we are going to be seeing you again uh this year uh when you do come back this year uh who would you like to play david <laughs> You're calling that would be if you want, crud. No. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see a real race for fandom, <laughs> if you want to see a low accuracy match, <laughs> get me in a match with David. It'll be hilarious and it will never win match of the year, but it'll be fun. <laughs> That does sound like a fun match. Thank you so much, Joe. Uh, Dylan, final thoughts on tonight's match? Yeah, a uh, good match. Uh, look, it's it's tough whenever you see uh, a match end on uh, a very controversial call. Uh, it took a lot of deliberation to make that call. Uh, and, but, yeah, I mean, look, uh, I think – Ultimately, it's it's tough, but I think we came to the right decision. Joe uh, Joe did give a answer that I think is correct with the wording of the question here, and uh, yeah, he played uh, great, capitalized on his strength, and was able to uh, get the points he needed in round three to get the the victory there. Yeah, uh, spinners an opponent's choice. Like you can't help but feel bad for uh, Adelaide in that scenario. It's a really hard hand to be drawn, especially when you're in the lead coming out of round number one. Uh, and it looked like that might have rattled them a bit going in around number three where they couldn't uh, pull some of the answers like Tippi Hedren. Uh, so I feel bad for them there. But, yeah, like you said, they beat David Nishimoto. So, like, they're obviously – they're they're a really solid player. They've proven that, and uh, I'm excited to see them come back. But, uh, yeah, props to Joe making it back up to 500. I'm excited to see where he goes from here. Absolutely. Uh, best of luck to both these players when they do come back. But on behalf of Joe, on behalf of Spence, on behalf of everybody here at Multiplex Movie Melee – I'm pacing the Sin Master Johnson. That's still ambitious Van Thine. Have a great night. Goodbye. <laughs> Later. I'll be right here. After you, Junior. You'll we'll always have Paris. Bye bye, boys. Have fun storming the castle. Take it away. You've been taken. Bye bye. <laughs>